Hi, it's Danny here with another Scratch tutorial and in this tutorial what I want to do is just take a look at a very simple feature of Scratch which is just to make a sprite do something when you click it, nice and easy. So I've just got the complete bare bones Scratch page up here, I've, I've got Scratch Cat who's here by default and a blank page, I'm not going to do anything more of that, you can play around with this later on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my sprite here, I'm going to look into the events and the one I want is basically when this sprite is clicked. So I'm going to drag when this sprite is clicked over here and then what I want the sprite to do when I click on it. So I want him to maybe make a sound. So he can make, um, let's play a sound until done. So let's click on him. There we go. We don't want that sound on a different sound. We can click on there and we can record a sound if we want to. So we can get it to actually uh, use a microphone and record a sound we want to, to, um, to record. Or we can go into the sounds tab just up here. There's a sound we're using, but if you want to change that, we can click on choose a sound and we can then go into the categories here. We could choose a different kind of sound. We can make him croak, we can make him bark or whatever. Um, we can make him play a particular sound effect or a note or, uh, you know, it's a weird sound. So let's get to play that. Okay, and then let's go back to code. And when I want to play a sound, I can then choose that Alien Creek I've just chosen, and now he'll do that instead. So you can have anything you want to to that command there, and when the sprite is clicked, it'll do that. So let's just take that off and delete that. Um, and now you can get it to, to say things, you can get it to, to think things, you can get it to switch costumes, and, and so on. So if you want to really play with this, a good place to start is up on the tutorials button here. Um, and choose animate a name and that will take you through lots of different steps so basically putting in multiple letters and each letter is a sprite and you can make each letter do something different which is kind of cool but um, I'll just put a few things in here so if I'm just going to just go through a basic idea I'm going to click on choose a sprite I'm going to choose letters and I'm just going to put in D for Danny and then I'm going to go again let's go to the letters and let's go A and let's do it again and let's do N so I'll just do those three for now I'll just do the no, there we go. So I'm going to click on the D first of all. The D is up here now, which is letting me know that that's the sprite I'm playing with. And I can bring in the um, when this sprite is clicked, I want this sprite to change the color effect by 25. So that means that each time I click it, it's going to sort of change color a little bit. And every time I click it, it's going to cycle through through that. Let's click on the A. Let's have that do something different. So when this sprite is clicked, I want it to um, change size by 10. So as I start clicking it, it'll start getting bigger. And let's maybe do something for the N. Let's, when this sprite is clicked, I want it to rotate motion and I want it to turn 15 degrees each time it's clicked. So every time I click it, it spins around like that, which is kind of nice. So it's a nice way of getting you used to the different kinds of commands that you can get all the sprites to do so things like motion and look and sound they're all quite good I'd work your way through those go to the tutorial play with that animate a name tutorial that's really worth playing with have a little play and just have some fun exploring hope you found it useful let me know if you've got any questions add them in the comments I'll be back with some more scratch tutorials soon thanks again for your time cheers goodbye